You can't tell if the acceleration is due to gravity, if it's due to centripetal acceleration, if it's the I same magnitude and direction, it's totally equivalent. Well, and that not. also means that if the acceleration is g <laughs> through other methods, you can't tell the difference between it also being in free fall. This is Rashi Berry, your host from Columbia University. Welcome to Daily Physics, and today our topic is inertial acceleration versus gravitational acceleration. I have two guests over here. One is Subhan Isaac, going to give you an undergraduate level of understanding. He is from New York University, and I have Rab Berry from Brown University, going to give you a graduate level of understanding. Line I write A is equal to G. What do I mean? Acceleration with respect to a certain reference frame at some point is approximately equal to the gravitational acceleration exerted by Earth near the surface. Uh, Rab, can you read it? Yeah, A equals G means that an object is in free fall. So that means the All right. only force. Doesn't always gravity. mean it's in so, free fall. So Rav, equals... Rav and Isaac uh, both get zero and zero. Why is that? Because this is inertial acceleration, this is gravitational acceleration. Very yeah, different. but A doesn't necessarily have to be equal to G. Okay. All right, so I am the teacher over here and I give you the point. This is inertial acceleration and this is the gravitational acceleration acceleration next this is the gravitational force this is the inertial force mm -hmm. okay this is also the gravitational force this is also inertial force okay so can we say that a is equal to what gm over r squared all right so i have the gravitational force and inertial force. I have mm -hmm. the gravitational acceleration and inertial acceleration. Inertial acceleration. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to make it. This is not quite equivalence principle, uh, but we're going to try to make it a weak connection. So tomorrow we're going to do uh, equivalence principle. We're going to make a mm -hmm. weak connection with this and the equivalence principle. Well, actually, yeah. there's a pretty strong connection because the equivalence principle states that as long as the acceleration is in the same magnitude, has the same magnitude, and is in the same direction with respect to your reference frame, you can't tell where the acceleration is coming from. You can't tell if the acceleration is due to gravity, if it's due to centripetal acceleration, if it's the I same magnitude not. and direction, it's totally equivalent. Well, and that also means that if the acceleration is g <laughs> through other methods, you can't tell the difference between it also being in free fall. What are the differences between gravitational acceleration and inertial acceleration? Well, I mean, yeah, gravitational so the, acceleration okay, is so, just it's specifically the acceleration exerted by the gravitational field of a specific object uh, near its center of mass. But inertial acceleration could be anything in the reference frame of the object that's causing it to accelerate. So it could be centripetal acceleration, it could be gravitational acceleration, it could be from the electromagnetic force, it could be anything. But the gravitational acceleration is specifically from the gravitational field of an object. All right, so let's give you a mass, 10 kilogram, by the way. Okay. You're going to find the gravitational acceleration and you're going to find the inertial acceleration. Okay. Okay, show your work nicely so people can see it. Okay, okay. so the gravitational acceleration... No, don't talk don't talk. So this is 10. Oh, uh, yeah, not eight right. meters per second squared. But the okay. way these two are not the same. Do you know why? Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Do you know why these two are not the same? This is not an example of the equivalence principle. Do I know why they're not the same? No, they're the same. They're not because 
What? But but look look one of the accelerations. This acceleration is to the right. This yeah, one is exactly. down. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. The no, you just copied me. Different directions. But well, their magnitude are same. But this is the yeah, but that's not an same. example of the equivalence principle. Very good. Very good. It only works right. if their directions are the same. All right. So today, oh, it's eight fifty three. It's eight fifty three. Actually, okay. even if their directions are the same, then it's not necessarily the equivalence principle. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, so this is the misconception. Just because inertial gravity uh, 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 acceleration is equal to gravitational acceleration doesn't necessarily mean this is what Einstein meant by saying the equivalence principle. Most people get confused. And where is the confusion coming from? Ref. Okay, so the confusion is that it's very easy to think that these two masses are the same and that you can cancel them out. But there's a big assumption because this mass is the inertial mass of the object. This is the mass that tells you how resistant the object is to motion. This is a completely different mass. This is the mass, um, this is the gravitational mass of an object. Isaac. And they're not necessarily the same, the gravitational mass and the inertial mass. Isaac, why this is not an example of uh, equivalence principle? Well, I mean, it's mostly for the reasons he stated. The gravitational mass is not necessarily equal to the mass at rest or okay. the mass in your own reference frame. All right, so if you guys have any comment, uh, please write it in the comment box below. Tomorrow we're going to do equivalence principle. Um, a few people, there's lots of people get confused with, with this one. They think that a uh, magnitude of the acceleration of the same g is equal to a initial acceleration is equal to yeah.